Hello, my name is Becca and I'm an educator at the Baltimore Museum of Industry. Right now you are standing in our Fueling the Automobile Age gallery. In this gallery, we take a look at the role of automobiles in American cities. The first American cars were produced in custom car shops in the 1890s. In Baltimore, buying a new car during this era would cost around $5,000, about the same as buying two row houses, so very few people had access to cars. That began to change with Henry Ford, who started building cars on assembly lines in 1913. As more cars were built and costs were lowered, more and more Americans began to buy and drive cars. By the early 1950s, millions of new cars were being produced every year, among them Packard Clippers like the car in front of you now. When this car was built in 1953, comfortable seats, bright colors, and the fact that owners were able to fix their cars themselves all made cars like this one hugely popular. The car wasn't flawless, owners complained of bad gas mileage and doors that leaked in the rain, but the comfort, style, and convenience of the car made it worth it for many. In this gallery, you can also see Crown gas pumps from the 1950s and 60s. Crown Central Petroleum opened their first Baltimore locations in 1943 and quickly became a major icon in the city. Although the city doesn't have as many Crown stations as it once did, the company is still headquartered right here in Baltimore today.